takeaway message of our article is, is that we do have um, a, an approach to how to manage patients uh, with erythromyalgia, which includes the use of topical treatments as a first line treatment, but then the consideration of systemic treatments that can help, and then also a pain rehabilitation approach for management of patients who have very recalcitrant and life altering disease. Hello, everybody. My name is um, Dr. Mark Davis. Um, I am professor and chair of dermatology at Mayo Clinic Rochester in Minnesota. I'm the senior author on a, an article entitled Erythromyalgia, a review of medical management options and our approaches to management, um, which will be appearing in the Mayo Clinic proceedings. With the diagnosis of erythromyalgia, we have various treatment options that can be used, both topical and systemic, as well as a more holistic approach to management of this disorder. And this article talks about many of those management options and our algorithm for management of those. So erythromyalgia is a challenging diagnosis. Patients present with red, hot, painful feet and hands. Um, and often um, it doesn't, it, it sounds like something unusual and it is unusual and um, but it can be quite life altering for many patients the they find that when their feet and their hands turn red they're extremely painful and burning and sometimes that um, is very disruptive towards their life because they have difficulty functioning normally they automatically try and seek um, cooling behaviors for their hands and feet um, as illustrated in this article we advise them to minimize the use of those cooling and techniques because often they can damage the skin of the feet and hands. We have various topical treatments that can deaden the pain in the feet and hands during episodes of when they're turning bright red and hot. Um, and we also have topical treatments that can decrease the episodes of redness. Um, in some patients, they need to use, as well as the topical treatments, oral treatments or systemic treatments. Um, and we outline um, our algorithm of um, what ones should be used for that. In some patients, the pain of this disorder is overwhelming and really takes over their entire life. And in those patients, we suggest that they engage with a pain rehabilitation type of process where there's a holistic approach to their pain and they interact with not only physicians, but also um, behavioral therapists and um, also other psychologists and psychiatrists to try and deal with this chronic pain syndrome aspect. So, it, so the erythromyalgia doesn't take, take over their lives. We see, because we've published a lot about erythromyalgia, we see a lot of patients coming through and probably more than most other medical centers, including other um, academic medical centers. So we have experience um, of what patients, um, of, of patients presenting with erythromyalgia and the pain of erythromyalgia. And the patients over the years have told us what has been helpful to them. And this um, article is really a compilation of those suggestions from patients and our experience, and also um, what we've published on this disorder. When we see a patient with erythromyalgia, this um, article is going to provide a, a kind of a guideline to how we'd approach management of um, erythromyalgia. And the patients may find it helpful um, as they read about their disorder, but also um, physicians and referring physicians um, will find it very helpful. The next step for, um, for research in erythromyalgia will be to continue to investigate more um, agents that will help um, with erythromyalgia, both topical and systemic. And hopefully we can help patients control this disorder better. So, um, I recommend to you that you, you consider taking a look at this article when it's published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. I think it will be helpful for both patients and physicians. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content 
is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.